Hello again everyone, Mushkin here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Amnesia the Dark Descent. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are in the choir room, I believe is the name of it. Um, it's a really big open area, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to see Mr. Cabbage Head soon. Um, and I, I, the last episode, I, I'm pretty sure it was the last episode that I was scared by the coffin thing. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll see it in just a second. Let's get going. My friend told me that if, uh, if you walk into it, it'll close on you. So, uh, that's a good hiding spot if I need it. Which I probably will soon. I'm really scared, guys, because I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to see Mr. Cabbage Head soon. Birds aren't helping either. My phone just vibrated and it scared me. Not sure what that is. Oh god. That pillar scared me. Guess we'll go across this bridge. It's on the other side of the room. What was that? No, 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 no. Hear the noise, the noise of Mr. Cabbage Head. I don't know what the other noises are, but... Man, it's really dark. I'm not sure if y'all can see or not. I hope you can. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds and then um, if, if nothing's happened, like the music hasn't stopped, then I'll, I'll continue on. I guess I'll, I guess I'll just go ahead and go. Stick around this corner. I hear noises, like footsteps. Let's just go ahead and go. What's the worst thing that happen? I'll die in a game. I, I swear, birds or something. This is a really big area, and the music went away, so I'm guessing that I, I lost Mr. Um, Mr. Face, or oh, excuse me, Mr. Cabbage Head. Tinderbox? I like tinderboxes. There are uh, cockroaches crawling on my face, apparently. It's really gross. I'm just gonna uh, head over this way. Let's see what's going on over here. And hopefully there will not be a cabbage head or a Mr. Face either. Because neither of those are uh, particularly fun. There's a skeleton. What is this? Okay, um... Maybe this? What was that? Poison gland. Why do I need a poison gland? Maybe it's for that thing that the Grippa needs. Hello? Oh my gosh, 
That's really creepy. Oh, that's that torture thing. Where you put the person inside, light a fire underneath it. I'm, I'm not sure if that's a good thing that I know that. The trader did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when, he, only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instruments, which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull below. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's not creepy at all. No, why would that be creepy? What? Can I open it? Is that door closed? Yes. So I'm guessing there's a... Not a piece? No? I thought for sure there would be a, a piece of... Oh, there it is. wonder if I can combine them yet. Let's see. They won't stay together. Hmm. Okay. I, I bet you there's going to be a, a cabbage head soon. I'm just going to go over here real quick. I stay, I'm going to stay on this, the edges most of the time during this. Oh my gosh, it scares the crap out of me. Because I'm sure Mr. Cabbage Head is around here. And probably Mr. Face, too. I'm gonna look down there. Should I go across to the other side? I don't think there's anything over there. Except maybe death. By Cabbage Head. Okay, um. Let's go. Let's go back down. I'm not sure if I should go further that way or not. I guess I should. So I'm just gonna run across. Stay. Oh, cabbage head. Where are you? Where are you, cabbage head? There you are, I see you. Better stay away from me. Probably gonna die, guys. I hear him getting closer. I think. I actually don't see him. guys. Oh, there he is. Oh, shoot. Cabbage head, I don't want you to go away. I don't like you. You're creepy and you're cabbagey. Did he just went away right there? What? That made next to no sense. Just disappeared behind a pillar. Is that, is that a bridge? Okay. There's not a bridge. Okay, 
Sorry guys, I'm getting a little really, really nervous. This is this is a pretty intense part of the game, I must say. I don't think I like being in the middle. Where is he? Where is he? I do not see him. I don't like not seeing him and hearing the music. It's like worse than, I don't know. Everything is the worst. Thinking about just continuing on. Regardless. Just go like this. How much wanna bet he's blocking the bridge? Or something. Because the bridge is right there. gonna be a long time in this in this area I, I bet should I go this way oh my gosh oh there's more Crap. okay let's check this out real quick see if there's anything to see preferably this not scary I've already been around here. I can't tell anymore. Oh, this is up. Okay. Okay, so I haven't been over here yet. I'm going to uh, stay next to these pillars over here. Because I'm sure that monsters are going to be around here soon. Chance to oh, oh, the wheel me. is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. This is too... But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. That's, uh, that's awful. Um... So I actually, I was just thinking about how many of the four pieces I needed whenever that cutscene was going on. Oh my gosh. Another door. I'm just going to close this door. I suppose. Daniel's going insane. I'm assuming this is the four piece I need. I'm not sure if I want to click on this orb. I mean, uh, this wheel. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so the rope, but with intent, so the rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Oh. Okay. Well, um. 
on that note, I think I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff.